Ah, oh, welcome everyone to another episode of Vic no, Victoria 2. This is EU4, guys. So, anyways, we are back here in the Scandinavian Empire where, guys, I got a couple things to say. Last episode, I was thinking about, stupidly, to attacking Portugal. Um, yeah, have we thought about that and decided, no, not a good idea to attack Portugal just because I don't think I could deal with two war fronts. I mean,. As it is, Muscovy is going to be a pain. To say the very least, Muscovy is going to be a pain. If I went to war with them, I would most likely get my butt kicked. Because my army, I calculate this, I only have about maybe two armies. Well, really three, but really only two armies at max. In my old world. In the old world. Um, I do have bigger armies, don't worry. They're just all spread out around the colonies, so... You know, Muscovy has all of its, like, let's see its ledger, countries, armies, do, 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 do. there we go. Muscovy has all of its troops, all of its 57k troops, you know, all these troops, all in here. Which means they could instantly come in and just destroy me. I mean, I would have no chance against them. Even with their, like, negative modifiers to being, like, uh you know, Eastern tech, it would just not work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to abandon my goal of trying to get land from from the uh, Portuguese, and we're going to see if we can get some actual good quest. Oh, not quest. Some actual good national decisions. And let's see, what else was I going to tell you? Oh, colonizing-wise, um, I'm still going to go after this colon the colony right here, because I really want that in the... Uh, what is it? Triggered modifiers? If I can get this triggered modifier of 20% extra extra um, income or national tax modifier, that would be so great. Like, that would increase my productivity by so much. So, I'm definitely working towards that. So, but, but be first... Ah, ah, for some reason there, I'm just like tripping over my words. Um, but first, we have to go make sure this colony actually survives this time. So, this time around, I'm sending 11k troops to go fight the whatever natives are over there. And this time, I'm guaranteeing you guys, they will not win. So, that's where we're at right now. <laughs> I hate to always resort to violence in these situations. Border dispute! Uh, gain a claim onto that or lease the building. You know, as much as I hate to say it, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care about the uh, political stability of the Great British, so... Anyways, uh, also... Um, it seems like Bohemia wants a royal marriage. What the heck is changing with you, Bohemia? Like, you guys used to hate me, and now you guys are starting suddenly liking me. Oh, and apparently there's more laws being enacted. Disternal, disallows internal HRE... Aw, oh, dang it! That's a really bad one, actually, right there, because then that means that are now always inherited by the same. It truly is now always inherited. Oh, dang it! I hate you. I hate you, Austria. You guys are like uniting the Roman Empire. That is not good. So, um, right now we have a royal marriage request from a good friend's Bohemia. Let me see if I want to accept it, because I wouldn't mind like asking if they want to be my vassal. Let's see. Offer vassalization. To offer vassalization, royal marriage, have an alliance, have a relationship of at least 190, have the same religion, yes, and have the, the target piece. Actually, we could make these guys our vassal. Let's do this. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, let's, why did I ever think of this before? I mean, Bohemia is like the only other country in the world that's my same religion. And it makes sense of them to become our vassal. Um... I just need to, like, increase relationships again. Oh, gosh, this is, like, the third and final time I've, like, increased relations. It's a good thing they like me a lot. Like, we don't like them a lot, but they like us a lot, so that would not be a problem. So, yeah, let's just see if we can go make them all, like, BFFs or something. Okay, and we also have our flute army and all of our ships going, and everything looks fine. Okay. Um, back into the new world, we gained our Casus Belli, we have gained a Casus Belli, a Conquest Casus Belli against the British. The British are not going to be too happy about that, but I wouldn't mind taking these two places right here. Honestly, 
having the rest of this ours means we basically blocked out all uh, it would be nice let's just say that anyways um I'm thinking that I'm going to now go to war with uh, the Aztecs because you know what I just can and no one else is gonna stop wait let me make sure <laughs> let me make sure before I say that because there are some moments where I say there's nothing bad that can happen to me and then all of a sudden something bad will happen so let's just see who's in the coalition against me at this current moment where's the coalition coalition there it is coalition against me right now no one is in a coalition against me right now okay so then the Aztecs are right for the taking let's go <laughs> okay and over here you guys are on your boats I need you guys with our tiny uh, it's a it's an okay sized army I'm gonna have to start reversing a lot of stuff you guys go over here to the new Cape of Hope by then the colony should almost be done so we can go send over our troops to go destroy whatever natives are over there quite sad I, I really do think it's quite sad this is like the second time they destroyed my places so yeah don't do that <laughs> When you're underneath my rule, I'll let you guys, I guess the, the saying is, as long as you guys don't mess with me, I will let you guys live. But if you mess with me, I'm going to attack you. Okay. Anyways, um, these six men should be good enough to, like, do anything. I mean, I, I, do, I don't honestly expect them to, like, lose to the Aztecs. If they lost the Aztecs, that would be almost more than sad. It would be pitiful. I think that that's what we would have to consider this whole entire situation. Because it would be pitiful. L losing to the Aztecs is like losing to your great 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 grandma who's still in the grave. It's just that sad. I mean, yeah, seriously, there we go. Okay. So, yeah, you guys chase them down. I should have supply range for, like, enough of these areas. Okay. Colony damage where? Oh. Well, that's only, like, a couple day difference. I'll go send some... When I'm done with the Aztecs, because I'm only taking... I think I'm only going to take like this part of the Aztec land and maybe some of this other gold provinces like right over here. Then I'm going to take these three and this part of the Aztec land. I might also take Zapotec. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm debating it right now. That's what I'm thinking guys. I'm debating if I should take Zapotec. Um, but the sieges down here should go really really quickly. I got slaves again. That's not something I want. Definitely not something I want. But we have it. Hooray. Okay, let's go send our troops down here. We'll go send them to go destroy the natives before they even spawn. Invest in a bigger army! Or gain two base tax in the- Or gain a hundred- Uh, you know what? Is that- How long does that last? 60 manpower in Vinsglade. Or get military funding until 1929 National Tax Month. This seems like the better decision, just saying. Okay, and destroy the natives. I'm so sorry, guys. There we go. So now this colony should be able to flourish for the rest of the time. I should have no more difficulties over there. Over here, I don't think the Aztecs are going to be much of a, a problem. Um, I'm, I'm almost fairly sure that I'll be able to take over everything I want in a very short amount of time. So let's just, let's just like, let's just go start sieging and just go destroying and just doing what we have to to go get what we want. Okay, seems like seven Aztecian armies have moved up. And I can become the defender of the faith again. Peace offer from the Aztecs. Uh, building improvements. We got a two fort. That means something's not two. Get that right there. That needs to be two. And then I cannot give a two fort right there yet. Because it's still not there yet. But don't worry, it'll go there. Don't worry, people. It will. It will. Okay. So let's see. Um, just gonna move to Mizetek. I'm not. I think it's Mizetek. But it might be something way, way off. I mean. As the Aztecian language is a very, very difficult one to pronounce. Just want to say that now. And you guys almost done? There we go. Seize down that. Go down to the capital. Go destroy them. Military access. Military access. I don't really care about you two, so you two can go like... I don't know. Destroy yourselves. Besides, the, the, the Ottomans right now, they're not in a very good position. They're like getting torn apart by like six different nations. Okay. Really? Stop doing this! Okay, you know what? I'm going to do this. And I just lost something. That is not a good sign. Um, I don't know what exactly I lost, but I hope it's not something very important. Uh, yeah, that, that's kind of worrying me now. What did I lose? What did I lose? Um, expansionist. 
Am I using my Diplo power for anything? Not really. Um, and I'm like, I think I'm ahead in Diplo power right now, aren't I? Diplomatic technology. Yeah, I'm really ahead right now. So let's just keep spending on expansionist ideas. Colonist travel time. Probably not expect. Expect this time. Okay. You guys, you guys are gonna stop running for me. Seriously. You guys are like the biggest chickens. My king, we've lost something. I keep. Okay, next time that happens, I'm gonna look at what we lost so I know what we have to do. And I can invest in a new idea. Oh, right here. That requires admin points, which I'm not gonna spend any admin points right now. Because I seriously, seriously, seriously can't afford it. Alright. You know what? We're gonna stick right here. If you guys wanna keep moving, that's fine with me. But I'm gonna stick right here. We're just gonna sit right here and not do anything. Okay, the siege is over. Okay, now we're gonna go attack. Okay. And the king, more wars that I don't really care about. Because I'm not really involved in these. I'm going to go right over here. Siege down those two provinces and then just declare peace. And that way, we've divided up the... Divided up the army, not only. And they can they can be seized that. I don't really care about that province. And lots of military access. People are really asking me for lots of military access. I'm not sure if I should really be paying attention with what's going on in the world right now. I'm not going to... I'm not going to invest in it. So just be quiet. Okay, uh, and apparently there's some places that don't have temples. Oh my goodness, I can do an entire new temple run! Ooh, ooh, I'll get on that in a second. Let me just finish up this war. So faster, finish up this war, and peace out from the Essex. I'll give you guys peace in a second. Just let me get what I want, okay? I have to first get what I want, and then we can... Wow, we're really doing bad sieges right there. Come on, take down the Aztecian temples. There we go. We have gained a core province! Yay! Yay, more cores! I love more cores! And there we go. So let's just go right here. Do, 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 do. And... It's almost there. Well, let's see. How's our colony in... How's our colony over here? Should be... It should be okay. I mean, it's not... Should be not dead anymore. And now we have access to the richest people in the world. When I can, I'm going to declare war on you so hard, like, so bad. I mean, it's not even going to be funny. But before that happens, I must first, like, get this land over here. Okay, so there we go. The siege is over with. Let's go right up here. These are the only two lands we really want. So let's see. Will this siege go much quicker? We'll see. Um, peace out from the Aztecs. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit because it seems like I'm lagging behind just slightly. And I really don't like lagging my videos, so yeah, we'll slow it down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now, Aztecs, listen to my peace offer. You guys give me this, you guys give me this, and this. Okay? You can give me no more money. Alright? Revoke cores on me. Okay, and... They could become my vassal, I just realized that, but... You know what, let's, let's make you transfer all your trade power to me. I don't even know what that's going to do, but I like the sound of it. And do we have any more? Uh, we don't need to take that land, so yeah, there we go. Start demands. Yes. Okay. So yeah, that was the war with the Aztecs. It went, I think, very good. So now we're just going to pour a lot of these places, and I'm using the four points. Ah, hate that. Just hate that. Trying to not spend double points, and then I spend double points. Good. And while we're also here, we might as well start getting some cool things. And I think I'm going to build another plantation. I think I'm going to build another plantation right over here in Tortuga. And I'm also going to... Wait, I wasn't done yet. <laughs> I'm also, a spy agency would be pretty nice, but I think we should also get more of an army in the old world and make sure that we have an army in all the old worlds. And... We, I think also a training field would also be pretty nice if we start like building that. So let's start, let's just start doing that, let's start getting a lot bigger like stuff, manpower, bonuses, everything. France seems like it's about to connect all of its land together into this big gigantic conglomeration of just France. Man, I wish the UK had actually gotten into this col colonial game. Cause seriously, it's like, it feels like this is only between me, Spain, and France. It's Portugal too, but that might become Muscovy, which is scary to say the least. Poland's opinion of us, Krikov's opinion, Poland's opinion, Krikov, who is more powerful right now? 
Oh, definitely Poland. <laughs> My king, they mentioned the coalition against us. Really? <laughs> the Aztecs are like the only people that are angry at me. And I'll be honest, that doesn't really offend me at all. Okay, and over here, these guys are seeming like they're pretty nice with us. So, has a relationship at least 190, has the same religion, has the same... The target country must be at peace. Yeah, I think I'll be able to... I think I'll be able to easily vassalize Bohemia. It's gonna be nice. Like, it's gonna be really, really nice when we get that started. Um, right now, we have some rebels, of course. You know, the new regime is always hard to implement. Because everyone's always like... You know, oh, we don't like these guys. These guys are worse than the previous rulers. Yada yada yada. Grumble grumble grumble. I'm an old man. But really, we're not that terrible people. We do not. I mean, we do not like any other religion, and we think that you should all convert to us and not be whatever you used to be. But it doesn't sound like we're bad people at all, does it? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> uh, logic. Logic of the Europeans, right there. Logic of the Europeans. Okay, we defeated them. And you have suffered some casualties. Oh, I have like 70, 79k troops right now. Like just free, just doing nothing. So figure out what you can do with them. And no, I'm not going to do that. Let's see, I'm going to get my next upgrade in about 480. That's going to be so nice. Stability increase. What? Oh, sweet. That usually never happens in, C in EU4. I'm still going to say CK2, but this is EU4. Like, seriously, you never get that kind of event. You always get the event that usually says, Oh, your stability has been lowered. Ha ha. Alright, and... By the way, how are you guys looking in terms of alliances right now? Uh, not too, too strong. I mean, the enemies are a ton. Are we... Well, their rivals are not us. That's good. But who are we rival to right now? Oh, we're still... <laughs> we're still rival to the Pomeranians. And our enemies are Muscovy, Norway, Spain, and France. France put us on, as an enemy? Really? Oh, I thought I could be friends with France, but apparently France hates us. Okay, that kind of stinks. That that kind of didn't make my day. But anyways, what would happen if I just declared war on you guys right now? Okay, so I would not get the support of the Lithuanians. That kind of stinks because they have a big gigantic armies right there. But would I gain support? I did support Bohemia, but I'm about to integrate Bohemia into my society. Hopefully. Hopefully they're not too big. My king has broke the alliance with our... Let me guess, now they, feel, now they feel threatened and they hate us? Yep. Yep. It's that weird EU4 bug that's going around right now. Or not really bug, it's like a stupid AI thing going on where like, they'll be really happy with you at one point and then just be like completely angry at you for the next. For really no reason at all. Like I don't, I agree with a lot of you. I agree with, I agree with a lot of you know decisions. If you know the person has been quite angry towards you, well, what I'm, what I'm basically saying, people, is that if if I made mistakes and if I like purposely was like really aggressive and was like terrible, then I could see why people would be angry at me. But this whole EU4 bug is just like really stupid because it's just like, oh yeah, we're really happy with you at this moment, and then all of a sudden, boom, they're like the maddest people on the earth to you, and you're like. What did I do? And the, and the funny thing is that they never tell you. They're just like, yep, you did something wrong. You can't reverse it. It's unreversible. We don't, we don't, we're not even going to tell you guys what you did because it was so bad. It's like, huh? All right, so we have a couple of new things where we can add some diplomatic points. I'm not really caring about the diplomatic points. Just give me a random advisor. Just because I'm, I'm so ahead right now. It's not even funny. Like, seriously, it's not even funny. And let's see, what's happening right here? Uh, this little independent state is fighting Burgundy, and I'm guessing it's losing? I'm not sure, though, because Burgundy is, like, being torn... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Burgundy is having a terrible time right now. Burgundy, may... Burgundy might not be even Burgundy in a couple days, which is a scary thought, but it might happen. Okay, and our colonial... The settlers are all doing well. We're going at a pretty fast rate, and Punjab is surviving. Good job, Punjab. Good job. Okay, we got new technology. Let's see. Uh, militaristics. We are, like, seriously, we are keeping up our military to the bone. I mean, our country is all about the militaristics. Let's see. Let's see. What are we going to be upgrading now? We're going to be upgrading our... We have charged infantry. I don't... 
I think that's kind of outdated now. Yeah, I was about to say, I think that's outdated. So, now I have to figure out what do we want our armies. Do we want more shock, morale, shock? This is, even though this is like a terrible screen to be. Um, I think the reformed, the reformed two cons with the, okay, so the gallop, with the galloping army and the leather cannons, I think will make a really good, powerful combination right there. And I can build two more soldiers. Where do I want them? Do I want them in a new, new, no, I should probably build some more soldiers over here because absolutely nothing happens over here, but honestly, I feel like our soldiers over here are just like, honestly, like just chilling. Makes me kind of scared for when a war actually does break out. So, let's so recruit one of those, recruit one of those. And we're going to attach it to this army right here. So that should be great. Grain, everyone! We will produce grain in that colony or that place or whatever. Great news, that's all I gotta say. And disputed successions. Let's see what's happening right now. So, Norway has a disputed succession. Lithuania has a disputed succession. That's kind of interesting. Dang it. <laughs> Thought I could roll a marriage then, but apparently I can't. Um, but yeah, roll, they have a dispute session. That is not good. That is not good. Okay, choose times expire with the Aztecs in a couple weeks or a couple years. That isn't good. And let's see, is there anyone? I have like a free Diplo right now. Let's see, who do I want to improve relationships with? Muscovy is no point, so I'm not even going to try with that. Um, we we could try with Hungary, but I'm not sure how good are they right now in terms of technology. They are terrible, so no, let's try with Netherlands. Netherlands could become, you know, a reasonable ally. I mean, you know, they're just, they're right there and they could actually, like, do some stuff if, you know, we went to war with one of their friends. And apparently the Hansa are really trying to be bigger than us in terms of military. They're like, Psh, oh, you have 16k? Well, look at us, we have 22k. What you gonna do about it? Uh, destroy you? <laughs> uh, that's as simple. That's as simple as that. Don't. Yeah. Just don't. Just don't test me, Hansa, because you guys seem like you guys are really trying to beef up your army to try to act more tough. Don't try to do it. I'm gonna destroy if you guys do that. Speaking of which, how's our trade power going right now? Um, the Hansa basically control that, but I still have a good share. I have a really great share right here. Um. Right here, I've lost most of the power just due to Muscovy. I guess I don't know. That's that's kind of weird. I should still have a lot. Revolt in Lawland. Well, let them let them revolt. But seriously, I should have more power over here than than what it's presenting. I have to check. I have to check up on that because it seems like they might have done some like cheeky things and give me like I don't know some bad stuff. And oh shoot, guys, it's time to end today's episode. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.